101 Facts About North Korea. Today, you will not only learn about the history of the country's emergence, its development, traditions, and rules, but also figure out why North Korea is the way it is and what needs to happen for the regime to collapse. How much does it cost to escape from the DPRK? Where do North Koreans live and how much do they earn? What kind of watch does the leader of the DPRK wear now? And what were the past rulers' amusements? Where and for how much can we, as tourists, visit North Korea and dispel many myths asterisk literally asterisk what can you buy in north korea for ten dollars and much more this is not just 101 facts these are 101 facts about north korea by the way it's better to call it the deep rk if you happen to be there because when you say north korea there it reminds the residents once again that korea is divided into two countries one of which is bright and beautiful and the other is occupied by evil American capitalists. The DPRK as a state is young. It has existed for only 75 years and not small, almost 26 million people. That's 54th place in the world. The capital is Pyongyang. 80% of the country's territory is covered by mountains and it is washed by two seas, the Yellow Sea and the Sea of Japan. From 1910 to 1945, Korea, which was not yet two different states at that time, belonged to Japan. After the end of World War II, Japan was in decline and the northern part of Korea came under the control of the USSR and the southern part, the USA. As a result, when the Republic of Korea South appeared in 1948, the northern one, the DPRK, was formed. The first ruler of the country was Kim Il-sung. His birthday is still a national holiday in North Korea. Kim Il-sung's real name is Kim sun chu After coming to power, he changed his name, which came to mean from the sun. Kim Il-sung in his later years was forbidden to be photographed from the right side and this was due to a tumor on the leader's neck. All photos were removed from public access and photographers could be sent to jail. Despite passing away in 1994, he is still the formal ruler of North Korea. His portrait must be present in residential homes, apartments, public establishments, factory entrances, subways, railway stations, etc. If you damage his portrait, you will face a criminal punishment. There is a story when a woman saved her children during a fire instead of saving the portraits of the leaders and received a real sentence for it. When Kim Il-sung passed away on June 8, 1994, smiling was strictly forbidden. Speaking aloud, dancing, or drinking alcohol during this date is prohibited. People can be sent to labor camps or killed for breaking the rules. In North Korea, there are over 500 monuments dedicated to Kim Il-sung. Quotes from his works and speeches are memorized and used everywhere. Music on the streets plays with his words. In addition, North Korea uses a special Juche calendar that counts from Kim Il-sung's year of birth. In North Korea, it's not 2024, but only the 112th year right now. But people are aware that it is 2024. It's just noted in parentheses. His son and the second ruler of the country, Kim Jong-il, was born on Soviet territory and was named Yuri Irsenovich Kim at birth. This happened in the Khabarovsk Krai in 1941. And according to the legend invented by Korean propaganda, at the moment of his birth, a double rainbow appeared in the sky and the brightest star lit up. According to the same legend, he was born, not in the USSR, but at the foot of Mount Baekdu in Korea, in a secret guerrilla camp. And here are a couple of interesting facts about him. Kim Jong-il's annual expenses on imported cognac were 800 times higher than the average annual income in the country. Expensive imported cheese from Italy was flown to him by charter planes. He invented the hamburger in 2004 and gave it this name. He was just crazy about movies. His collection totaled 25,000 films and his favorite movies were Friday the 13th, Rambo and Godzilla. It was him, as I mentioned in one of the YouTube shorts, who kidnapped South Korean film director Shin sang Ok to make a North Korean version of Godzilla. Over eight years on forced assignment, the film director made 20 propaganda films and ended up in prison for five years for his views, where his mind was brainwashed. But ultimately, during a mission to Vienna to negotiate the screening of a North Korean film worldwide, he successfully escaped. His passion for cinema is a crucial point because even before he ascended the throne, he managed and clearly contributed to the opening of CK Studio. The joke about CK Studio was that it was quite a successful animation studio in those years that drew cartoons not only for North Korea, but also for the world. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Totally Spies, The Simpsons, 
Times, SpongeBob. Some parts were drawn. According to the Constitution, North Korea is a socialist country, but in reality, the state is equally far from communism and capitalism and much more resembles a monarchy. Power in the country passes by inheritance. Kim Il sung, Kim Jong Il, and now his son rules, Kim Jong Un. When Kim Jong Un was officially declared leader of North Korea on December 28, 2011, he became the youngest head of state in the world. 29 years old, either 28, 27, or maybe 30. Who will bid more? The thing is that Kim Jong Un's date of birth is truly unknown, but approximately in these years. Kim Jong Un is a basketball fan, hence his friendship with Dennis Rodman, a former NBA star who has visited North Korea several times at the invitation of the North Korean leader. Kim Jong Un studied in Switzerland. He arrived there in 1991 under the name Pak Un Ji and lived with his sister Kim Yo Jong and his uncle Kim Pyong Il. He attended an international school in the Bern area where he studied English, German, and French languages, as well as mathematics, science, and art. He was interested in basketball, computer games, and American movies, but also showed leadership and political abilities. Some of his classmates and teachers remember him as a friendly, modest, and sociable person who did not stand out among other students. However, others say that he was introverted, did poorly in school, and had discipline issues. That's probably where his love for good Swiss watches comes from. Here are a couple of models and price tags. Kim Jong-nam, the older brother, was assassinated in 2017 at Kuala Lumpur Airport, and his middle brother, Kim Jong-chul, lives in exile in China. He was considered to be quite gentle and kind, so he wasn't suitable for the role of heir to the throne. The history of Korea is quite painful overall. The country experienced a severe famine from 1995 to 1999, claiming the lives of approximately half a million residents due to a sharp reduction in international aid, ineffective North Korean leadership policies, low crop yields, and adverse weather conditions such as floods and droughts. North Korea's recovery began in the early 2000s when the country received significant international assistance, mainly from China and South Korea, and increased its exports, including food, drugs, and weapons. Kim Jong-un inherited the country during this period of recovery. Although people continued to suffer from hunger, the situation was improving. He also inherited a country with well-functioning and ruthless control mechanisms, including the world's strictest censorship and the highest number of political prisoners. Despite studying in Switzerland, he did not make any concessions. Oh, how he wanted to. He understood that if North Koreans started learning about the outside world, the entire regime would collapse. Moreover, cracks were already appearing. There was an underground circulation of South Korean and Chinese films and books in the capital, and something had to be done about it. He introduced the Linux operating system into the country, but with his twist. In simple terms, it's an unusual Linux. The system only allows access to files approved by the authorities. For example, if you created a document for a thesis and tried to transfer it via a flash drive to your partner, they wouldn't be able to open it because the file is not certified by the authorities for viewing. Additionally, every computer screen is periodically screenshot and these screenshots are stored and reviewed. What were you doing there? Punishment for distributing foreign audio and video <laughs> products was strengthened. For instance, two 16-year-old students were recently sentenced to 12 years of hard labor for watching South Korean dramas. One of the most famous defectors from North Korea, Park Yeon Mi, recounted witnessing her friend's mother being publicly executed at the age of nine for watching South Korean films and sharing DVDs with acquaintances. Someone reported her. Special squads are present for such cases. In North Korea, there is one informant for every 50 people. Night raids are regularly conducted to check if your radios are sealed, especially in regions near South Korea or China, where you might catch their radio signals. They check if portraits of leaders are clean. Everyone has a special kit for wiping them daily. Are you even at home? Because if you're staying somewhere else overnight, you need to register with a monitoring person that you'll be staying with a specific lady at her house. Despite all power in the country belonging to one dynasty, there is something like a parliament, the elite, which is re-elected every five years. But the results there are predetermined. Everything usually goes by inheritance, thanks to which this system will not collapse because there are no extras. It is not beneficial for anyone to overthrow Kim Jong-un. After all, then the regime will fall and they, the elite, will fall as well. In addition to the ruling dynasty in North Korea, there is also a class caste system. It is called Sanbun. I won't go into details, but basically these are enemies, neutrals, and loyalists. What is more 
more important is that the position in Sanbon affects whether a person can join the party, receive education and get a job. And in difficult times such as in the 90s, it also affected access to food. In those years, there was famine in North Korea. So yes, those who were considered enemies of the people were not allowed access to food and were doomed to die. In North Korea, an entire family can be punished if one person commits suicide or another crime. Usually three generations in their family are punished. No matter what the status of Sunbun is, it is passed down through inheritance. No matter how hard a person tries, he will not be able to get a good job if there was an enemy of the state in his lineage. And becoming an enemy in North Korea is very easy. For example, you can simply keep a Bible at home. Any religion in North Korea is harshly condemned. Christianity, especially because according to the government, it promotes Western values. Making international calls is a crime. There is internet and communication in the country, but not for many. In North Korea, only 2,000 people have access to the internet, to the internal internet. It is heavily censored, restricted, and so on, and the right to connect to it can only be granted for work or education. Access to the normal internet is only available to the country's elite, propaganda service workers, and diplomats. These positions are highly esteemed in society and come with extremely high salaries because they are the only people who can objectively look at the country and understand what is really happening within it and beyond its borders. The only thing you can do, for example, as a tourist in North Korea is to send an email through a computer club. And the cost of this email will literally be measured by the number of words in the message, like your regular Gmail or any other email service. Here's another interesting fact. Falling asleep during a meeting with Kim can result in a death penalty. So if that happens, don't fall asleep. For example, North Korea's defense minister, Hyun Yong Chol, was executed in front of more than 100 people in 2015 because he fell asleep during one of Kim Jong-un's events. A defense minister, can you believe that? Only male government officials are allowed to drive cars. Women do not have this right even if they work in that sector. According to statistics, only one out of a hundred people can own a car in North Korea. Every citizen of North Korea is required to serve in the army from the age of 17. Men serve between 5 to 12 years depending on the unit while women serve for three years. This is a world record. Yes, women are also required to undergo military service. More than 16% of the state budget is allocated for military purposes. In 2013, Kim Jong-un published a list of approved hairstyles. There are 28 hairstyles, 18 for women and 10 for men. But many mistakenly think these are mandatory hairstyles. They are recommended. You can have any short haircut you want, but having long or dyed hair will be frowned upon. By the way, there is is no LGBT community in the country at all. It is believed that the country is so pure and incorruptible that there simply cannot be any LGBT presence there. In North Korea, it is forbidden to use any devices running on Android or iOS, whether it's a phone, tablet, or computer. They mainly use Chinese smartphones with modified Android systems that allow for extensive surveillance and control. Most cars in North Korea are also Chinese made, and there is a lot of Chinese influence in the country overall. One of the main requirements of Korea Korean ideology is constant employment. Therefore, men and women in North Korea work six days a week and dedicate all their free time to volunteer work or attending meetings. Protests can occur in North Korea, but they are not political. For example, there was a crazy currency denomination where participants were swindled, leading to grumbling and outrage because they were ripped off multiple times. Despite some improvement in dealing with hunger issues, around 40-60% of the population still live below the poverty line, which amounts to approximately 15 million people. The situation has worsened due to COVID-19, although officially it was reported that there were no cases in North Korea. They likely managed this by swiftly isolating and closing off those who fell ill. However, trade relations with China suffered as a result. Additionally, in 2021, storms and floods damaged crops. The rationing system similar to that of the USSR still operates in North Korea. Some products are distributed based on ration coupons, and for ordinary citizens, meat is considered a festive food since the main diet consists of cheap rice and vegetables. North Korea is quite outdated. Apartments may look one way while being portrayed differently on television as an ideal living space. 
engineers, military personnel, politicians, and distinguished workers may receive free apartments based on their merits. If you want to buy one, the cheapest apartment in Pyongyang, the capital, will cost you around dollar thirty forty thousand. And you might ask me, Zaraz, how can I earn money for this apartment? How can I rise in North Korea? You'll be surprised. But in North Korea, there is also a social ladder. As long as you are not an enemy of the state and there have been no violators in your family, one way is through private business. You can can, for example, sell vegetables or fruits, start your own organization, hire people, and be an entrepreneur. For this, as well as for the next thing, you'll probably have to give a ton of bribes. You can excel by studying to become a military engineer and live a decent life. Becoming a hacker is also an option. They have been particularly active in the international online space lately. Learning languages to work in tourism is also a profitable venture here. But the most lucrative niches in Korea are fishing boats, as the state finds it unprofitable to maintain large vessels, and it's easier to collect tribute from smaller ones. There's also the coal industry. Overall, if you forget about what this country represents and look at it purely aesthetically, it definitely has its vibe that attracts tourists. Let's take a look together at the main attractions. Tower of the Juche Idea, Victory Museum, Kumsusa Memorial Palace, Kim Il-sung Square, Mansu Hill Grand Monument, State Circus, Concrete Wall. Triumphal Arch, Reunification Arch, Ryu Gyeong Hotel. As you can see from some angles, it can be quite attractive. Maybe. Interestingly, the life expectancy in the country is relatively high. 72 and a half years, which ranks 106th in the world. There are no early marriages in North Korea. Once a woman turns 25 and her chosen one is 27, they can get married. In this photo, a tourist photographer managed to capture the newlyweds on their wedding day. When he asked them why they decided to get married, their response was something like, we want to have many children who will go to the army when they grow up and protect our leader from enemies. Surprisingly, according to CIA data, the literacy rate in North Korea is 100%, meaning there is no one over 15 years old in the country who cannot read or write. This is a record worldwide. They have nuclear weapons, around 20 warheads. Due to constant military tests, the start of which is not disclosed, neighboring Japan and South Korea constantly declare alerts. Just recently, North Korea conducted unscheduled missile tests, with one missile landing 31 miles from the border with South Korea. The flag of North Korea consists of blue stripes, white stripes, one red stripe in the middle, and a five-pointed star. The star is an official symbol of communist ideology reflecting the memory of revolutionary traditions. The red color represents the bloodshed by Korean patriots as well as revolutionary resolve, patriotism, and the spirit of revolutionary struggle. The blue color reflects the revolutionary force's aspiration for brotherhood and unity in the struggle for peace and independence. The white color symbolizes the bright thoughts and ideals of people. It also embodies the unity of Koreans, their common cultural heritage. The coat of arms looks like this. A hydroelectric power station symbolizes the powerful heavy industry and working class of North Korea. Rice ears are a socialist agriculture and cooperative peasantry in North Korea. They mainly use cash here, but they also have cards. When it comes to salaries, a good engineer, for example, living in the capital will earn about $1.50-70 here. And as you can understand, outside the city, it's much worse, around $1.2025. For a North Korean, $1 one a day is straight up happiness. Okay, so what can you buy in North Korea for $1.10? Check out my shorts after this episode for a hint. In general, there's a lot of corruption in North Korea. A step to the right or left, a question can be solved only by paying. Corruption in North Korea is the main way to get medical help, housing, work, and even food. One of the interviewed defectors stated that those in North Korea who do not give or take bribes will likely die of hunger. Basic necessities and job advancement, access to foreign media, and escape from the country, conditions in prisons, and even release from arrest. Everything can be bought if you have the money. At the same time, the authorities claimed that there is no corruption, something that is called foul language in the West. For example, now escaping from North Korea will cost around $1.10, 15000 although earlier it could be done easily and for free since there was an unguarded border with China and less control. Until today, North Korea has been closed to tourists since 2020 when COVID appeared. But on February 9th, people from Russia will fly to a ski resort in North Korea. The trip costs around $1,500 per person for seven days. By the way, the flight will be operated by a North Korean airline with naturally ancient planes, so you can take a look at them too. It looks quite dubious, but if I had the chance, I would risk it for the content, really. 
I hope my video didn't convince you otherwise. I was just trying to talk about what doesn't make headlines in the media and I could tell you a lot more about North Korea. But we are limited to 101 facts. Let's make a deal. We gather 1001 likes and a new series comes out. Write in the comments down below what you want to see in the next episode. Bye.